good to see you, good to meet you, and uh, good to see you on, uh, after your first night uh, at the Living Place uh, uh, house. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? My, my name is Betty. We are all um, architecture journalists, and um, we were happy to spend one night already here. This is where you, is where you spent the night. Here, here you see my favorite, my favorite spot. I was sitting here yesterday afternoon, working on my laptop, watching out of the window, see the sun and the shadow passing by. And it, um, it somehow felt like the, the room is not static. There was movement everywhere. Coming here, the first thing that actually you, you notice is the fact that you have uh, well windows on two different orientations and then you have skylights, which means that you can take the opportunity of every single moment of the day in terms of the changing light. The windows are opening by itself to make the airflow perfect, and the, um, it's like speaking to you. Yeah, yeah. it feels sure. it feels like the house is, is taking care of you because you have obviously double exposure. So in that case, you may have cross ventilation, which may be beautiful. If we had, you know, a, a hot summer day. That would be good to Yesterday actually open evening, it we had a hot summer day. And the house was managing it by itself. You're from Italy originally, we're from Munich or Berlin, Germany. So would it be possible to build a house like this also in Italy? Uh, design is made of very simple and essential things. And once you learn you know, solar geometry and, and to understand the characteristics of climate and the properties of material, it's just a matter of mixing the right ingredients and to make it appropriate for, for the place in which you have to, to build, but also for the people. Um, I mean, before the pandemic, I'm mean, talking five years ago, we were not thinking of the house also as a place for work. Yes. The house is where you went at night, just yeah. you know, to cook dinner and to watch a movie and then, and then to sleep. Well, now the house is becoming really a living mm -hmm. uh, environment for you and has to adapt the, to the changes in your lifestyle. But I think that design is trying to understand what is healthy, what is uh, the, the, the qualities that I can um, use uh, to make this space uh, a living place. And I actually quite like the name, the living place, because living is not just a place for living, but it's a place that in itself is living. So it's a, it's a, it's a dynamic environment. So we are trained architects, we are always talking about design, but I'm also studying um, sustainability management, mm -hmm. so I, I have to look for environmental, economical and social purposes mm -hmm. as well. And I think this all together, this is how we should look to our future. The interesting thing that you say uh, about the environment, about the economic uh, aspect and society, is that they're all connected. Uh, having a house that makes you feel better and actually provides towards your health is not only an advantage to yourself but it's also an advantage to society and to economy because you're a healthier person so you're less of a burden to the uh, social security yeah. and health and safety and you're also more productive and i think that that is uh, one of the um, answers that, that that we get today we have to understand more about uh, who we build for and how and where and at the end, try to take out the simplicity, which is simple living of, uh, as I said, connecting with nature and with the elements. I believe you are not often in balance at all, but I think in this uh, house you will get the opportunity to find some of these special moments you need to be in balance. I feel like this house is like a house with open facade and open doors on a structural way and also on a um, symbolic way. Yeah, exactly. So you have the physical factors, you know, light, uh, heat, uh, air, quality, uh, speed, uh, ventilation. But then there is the unmeasurable, which is what Bettina was referring to, which is the level of social connection, which is the level of everything else that not only helps your body to situate in a specific condition and grow up healthier, but also help your mind and your balance, as, as, as Tim was saying. Look at the variety that you have outside of your window. These are absolutely amazing. So have you seen the materials that are used? 
design should actually bring together all of the different uh, elements and components and, uh, and bring it back together into a coherent uh, whole. Way of use. Yeah. Yeah. It's not necessarily difficult. We only need to have the willingness to do it and the knowledge that is necessary and the competence that is necessary. Mm -hmm. So understanding the site, understanding the characteristics of, uh, of uh, uh, orientation, but also of the people that will live it and maybe the, the reuse, uh, potential reuse of the building in the future. And for that you need good architects. <laughs> obviously, obviously. You need good architects for everything, especially for cooking. <laughs> architects are great cooks. <laughs>